So I recently bought this Italica scooter, 125cc, and it's made moving around Tulu much easier. So if you're interested in purchasing your own scooter in Tulu, then stick around and watch this video because I'm going to share information on how I found my scooter as well as tips on how to purchase your own and information on how to get all the registration paperwork you need. So one option is to buy a used scooter and you can search for them on Facebook Marketplace or you can use the Facebook group Expats in Locals in Tulum and you find people selling scooters or you can put up your own post in the group saying that you're looking for a scooter. Another option you can use are WhatsApp groups and the two main popular WhatsApp groups in Tulum right now are the Men in Tulum group which is only for men and the Girl Gang Tulum and that's only for women and I've included the links in the description below and once you join those groups you can just say that you're looking for someone who is selling a scooter. So if you do end up purchasing a used scooter then it's important that you have the following documents from the owner. Firstly, you should have the scooter invoice, also known as the factura, and it should have the signature of the original owner on it and a note from them saying that they are selling the scooter to you. Number two is the bill of sale, also known as the cata responsiva, and it has the details of the scooter as well as your signature, the owner's signature, and the signature of two witnesses. Number three, you also need a photocopy of the original owner's ID. Number four, you'll need the registration receipts. Number five, you should also have the registration card known as the tarjeta de circulación. And you should make sure that the name on the card matches the name of the original owner whose copy of the ID that you have and the number on the registration card must also match the number plate. So without these documents, if you get pulled over by the police, your scooter will be impounded and it will be registered as stolen. And it will also be difficult to resell the scooter without these documents. And when it comes to buying a new scooter, there are two main dealerships in Tulum. One is Yamaha and the other one is Italica which just opened recently and then you can also buy them at the supermarkets Chedrawi and Bodega Orera. And when it comes to my scooter, Italica was having an online sale and so I purchased my scooter directly on their website and it cost 15,000 pesos which is 750 US dollars and it included a helmet and they also shipped my scooter to me directly to my apartment for free. And this was back in September before Italica opened their new store in Tulum. And to purchase it, all I needed to do was to enter my Mexican address here in Tulum and my Mexican phone number as well. They also ask you for an RFC, which is a Mexican tax identification number. And if you don't have that one, then you can use the random one, the random RFC used by tourists and it can be auto-generated on the Italica website when you go to purchase your scooter. And when it comes to payment, you can pay with Visa, MasterCard or PayPal. And then after purchasing, they emailed me the invoice and then they delivered my brand new scooter to me in Tulum one week later. And so to register my scooter and to get a license plate for it, I went to the local government office for vehicle transfers here in Tulum known as Cefi Plan, and you need to make an appointment online 48 hours in advance and I included the link for it in the description and when it came to my appointment I took my scooter with me for them to check as well as originals and copies of my driver's license the invoice for the scooter and proof of address which for me was my utility bill it's important to note that when you take your utility bill it must have your name and address on it otherwise they won't accept it and this can be a little bit tricky because in most cases in Mexico, the utility bill has the name and address of the landlord. And if the utility bill is not in your name, then you must get your landlord to sign on a copy of the utility bill, as well as a note from them saying that you are living at the residence. 
and you must also include a photocopy of your landlord's ID. So on the day of my appointment, I showed up at the scheduled time with all my documents and the process was over in 30 minutes. So it was pretty quick and straightforward. It's important to know though that the entire process was in Spanish. So if you don't speak Spanish, then you should take someone who does. So that's it. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel and to give this video a like. And I hope you'll be zooming around to Loom on your own scooter soon.